Uh, the total economic output of the Latino community in the U.S. was $2.7 trillion in 2019, equivalent to the seventh largest economy in the world. Business leaders like our next guests are taking notice. Let's bring in Trujillo Group. Uh, Chairman Saul Trujillo, his Latitude Ventures, uh, aimed at investing in Latino-owned companies, has closed its first institutional fund, raising over $100 million uh, investment uh, by the likes of J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, uh, and others, and Trujillo Group as well, the, probably the biggest of the, uh, <laughs> of, of the uh, angel investors. Saul, uh, good to have you on. You know, what, what, the, the VC ecosystem is like um, in, the, in the Stone Age or something. It's 1 percent goes to the Latino cohort. Makes no sense. You want to you wanna change that? Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. Um, I, uh, I've, I'm a capitalist, so I believe in capitalism and making it work. But I do have a thematic about making capitalism work in the 21st century and how we need to do things differently now than we did the last day, uh, century. And so one of the cohorts that's creating the vast majority of business formations, uh, consumption growth, uh, labor force growth, everything is the Latino cohort. And as uh, one of uh, the people that you probably know well, Steve Forbes said at an event more recently, the Latino cohort is like the Calvary already coming over the hill. And the key point is, is that it's creating all this growth, the capital's not flowing. So last year we had this conversation, you and I uh, on the show, and I decided afterwards that I, need, I just needed to show people, let's create the prototype, let's get started, let's start raising capital, let's get the people that manage assets and have capital uh, to invest. But I had to start first with my, my own investment um, and, and bringing in the likes of J.P. Morgan, uh, Bank of America, uh, and, and all the others that are there, because now they're starting to get it. I, I want to showcase these companies because they understand the market opportunity, the returns, the job creation, the wealth creation, and obviously community impact in a lot of the companies that we're already in, starting to invest in to make a difference and help all of us show that, boy, we should start creating funds. We need new structures that allow for a capital flow into this cohort because they are the growth cohort of our country. Got Oscar involved, too, our friend from uh, the former United Airlines uh, CEO, yes, Oscar Munoz, uh, is, is on. What, what is he? He's at Latitude, right? One of the board members, a general partner? He's a general partner. He invested like I did. And we have Gary Acosta, who was a founding partner as well. He's the co-founder of the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals, which is a, a very capitalist uh, group that they make their way by selling, by doing, by mortgages, by a lot of things. And so we want to create that aura and that av availability of capital uh, for this cohort because they need it. And there's studies that show out of Stanford that there's a lot of these companies that they start, but when they get to be about a million dollars in revenues and size, and when they really need equity capital, it's not been available. And yeah. so we have to change that. We, all of us, the collective, we.